Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori Brain and I am a lupus warrior. I am so happy to have you here. So if you've been hanging around here a while or you know me personally, I my friends watch me. Then you know I not only have SLE, which is systemic lupus, but I also have lupus nephritis, which is where lupus starts attacking your kidneys. In early 2019, I was diagnosed with stage three and stage five lupus nephritis, and I really had to start paying attention to my kidneys for the first time in my life. I knew the typical things to do, like, you know, drink a lot of water, don't eat a lot of dairy, you know, stuff like that that's supposed to really help your kidneys. As a kid, I suffered from urinary tract infections all the time. And then as an adult, it was a lot of kidney infections before they found out that I had lupus nephritis. So today I want to talk about three things that you might not know that you can start paying attention to to protect your kidneys. Now, kidneys are kind of sneaky. You can have very low kidney function before you even know that there's an issue, especially if your doctor is not looking for any signs of any problems with the kidneys. Kidney issues can sneak up on you. So the first thing I wanna talk about is an over-the-counter medication that anyone can get and anyone takes and we give it to our kids that is a nephrotoxin, meaning it is actually poisonous to your kidneys. That is all NSAIDs. An NSAID is ibuprofen, Motrin, Aleve, Advil, the list goes on. There are also some stronger NSAIDs which require a prescription. Loading is one of them. I was on that for a while. I cannot stress this enough. Stop taking them. Stop taking them. Tylenol is fine. You can take Tylenol. Aspirin is also okay. It's not gonna tank your kidneys. Now, this is something that I actually noticed on my own. If I took an Advil, I would feel worse than if I just took a uh, Tylenol. Also, acetaminophen is fine. Like, you can take acetaminophen, that's fine. But if I took an ibuprofen, I would feel tired, I would feel nasty. And then it wasn't until I actually went to a nephrologist and he said that he wishes that they would require a prescription for you to take any NSAIDs because they can be absolutely lethal to your kidneys. Now there's this meme out there that's like, welcome to 30, hope you like ibuprofen. And that honestly is how a lot of America functions. They just have some ibuprofen in their purse or in their backpack or whatever. And then once they hit that pain, that knee pain that they're trying to ignore or a little bit of back pain or something like that, they pop it out and take one. Stop. It's hurting your kidneys. It's literally hurting your kidneys. All right. So I was a little bit harsh on that one. It's a soapbox and I threw away my kid's ibuprofen and I bitch and moan at my boyfriend every time he takes it. Like, stop taking it. Another big one is just monitoring your blood pressure, making sure that your blood pressure is not too high. Too low blood pressure won't really affect your kidneys, but you know, you should probably take care of that too. However, high blood pressure puts extra strain on your kidneys and you might not know it for a long time just because kidneys are pretty tough but it could be under the surface just damaging your kidneys. So pay attention to it. You can go to CVS and they have those free cuffs that you can put on. Also, a lot of people just have cuffs in their own home that they monitor their blood pressure with. I don't know how accurate the watches are or like the apps on your phone. I don't know how accurate they are, but you know, you can look at those too to see if you have high blood pressure. There are a lot of all natural ways to treat high blood pressure, like meditation, working out more. You can also have foods that can target it better. Also, you can get prescription medication for it if it is an issue that can't really be solved anywhere else. But that is a huge way that you can protect your kidneys is if you pay attention and monitor your high blood pressure and make sure that it is resolved. The last thing you guys can do to protect your kidneys is to pay attention to your sodium intake. Now, the guidelines for sodium intake is less than 2,300 milligrams. That sounds like a lot. It's not. Celery has sodium in it. Normal salads have sodium in them. Nuts have a lot of sodium in them, especially if they're dry roasted or seasoned in any way. I wanna give you guys a little bit of context of common foods that people eat. These are for just serving sizes. So oftentimes we don't just stop with a serving size. We have the bag and then we eat like half the bag and then we're kind of sick of it and then we put it away. But these are like, you know, for the actual serving size bags of these chips. Cheetos are 270 milligrams. 
Funyuns are 280 milligrams of sodium. Your favorite nacho cheese Doritos are 210 milligrams of sodium. If we switch over to a meal type food, a double cheeseburger from McDonald's is over a thousand milligrams of sodium. That means you can only have two a day and then eat no other food. Also drinks have a lot of sodium in it. There's almost 50 milligrams of sodium in a 12 ounce can of Diet Coke. So sodium is sneaky. It can sneak into your diet when you think you're just, you know, grabbing a quick snack or something like that. Granola bars have a lot of sodium in them. We always think of granola bars as healthy, but they're usually really high in sugar and sodium. So if you really want to protect your kidneys, I would highly encourage you start paying attention to how much sodium you're actually taking in in a day and start trying to reduce that because I almost guarantee you it's more than the amount that they deem safe. So those are are my three tips on how to protect your kidneys. I hope you guys have a great day and let me know if you have any questions. Please like, subscribe, jump over to my website if you want some free PDFs and videos on managing your invisible illness. I also have a Patreon now, so you're welcome to jump over to that as well. Both are linked below and I hope you guys have a great day.